Hey guys, a few things before I start the video. First off, if my voice is kind of rough, it's because I haven't actually narrated in over a week, and so um, kind of have to get back, like get used to it again. I know I, re I um I uploaded this week, but those all those recordings were recorded like months ago. So yeah, my voice might be kind of rough in this video. Another thing is I now have an Instagram and a Twitter. Um, they'll be linked in the description. Make sure you go follow both of those. Um, there'll be updates on there for the channel, as well as just personal crap. Um, anyway, this is the first installment of Creep Week. Basically what this is, is that for this whole entire week, I will upload one video with one story with a creep or a creeper theme every single day to, like, you know, it, I just thought it'd be a fun thing to do. Tell me if you guys like it. Here's creep number one. These incidents happened about four to five years ago. I live with my aunt pretty much in the middle of nowhere. We have a long driveway surrounded by trees on both sides. Our house is in a circular clearing also surrounded by trees. So it's pretty secluded, which makes what happens super creepy. My aunt works third shift, so she usually leaves for work around 6 p.m. I was working mid shift, so I would usually be home by 8.30 to 9. My brother would pick me up from work and drop me off. Sometimes he would come by the house before picking me up to help us out with some things and kill time. This took place in December. We live in the south. Sometimes it does snow, but for the most part, it's just bleak and cold. Lots of dead leaves and grass. This is relevant. Anyway, my brother is the Kevin McAllister of Christmas, and we always have Christmas at our house. So this particular day, he decided that he was going to come by the house to put up some Christmas lights before coming to pick me up. He said that he was outside probably an hour putting Christmas lights up. When it started to get dark, he came inside. He looked out the window in the living room, probably to admire his work on the porch, and there was a man staring at him through the window. He said that he ran into our middle room, locked the door, and called the police. It took the police about 30 minutes to get there. He hadn't locked the front door to the house, so he was super scared that this guy had come into the house. When the police got there, they searched, but the guy was gone by then. It's super creepy because that guy had to have already been there when our brother got there, hiding in the trees, watching him. We hadn't got any snow that year, just dead leaves and grass. So if you were walking through the woods and just happened upon our house, my brother would have heard him through the crunching leaves and grass. My poor brother was understandably shaken, but he decided that he was going to start staying the night at my house because he didn't want me to be home alone. I felt relieved that I would have someone else there with me. I just kept wondering how long this guy's been doing this. You can't see my house from the road. Nobody knows we're back here. It was frightening to think that this guy would have done if I were the only one there by myself that night. I'm a short female, not exactly intimidating. About a week later, my brother and I decided to just hang out and watch some movies. All the lights are out. The only light came from the TV. All of a sudden, we see the yellowish glow of flashlight shine into the front door window. For some stupid reason, my reaction is to stand up. I'm just staring at my brother like, WTF? He's staring at me with the same expression. Then we see it again. Somebody was shining a flashlight in our front door window. We couldn't see what this person looked like because the front door just happens to be stained glass. You can see out if you're looking right up onto it, but neither one of us was about to get that close. I'm sure that whoever was out there was shining the flashlight to get a look at the lock. So we called the police. They got there a lot quicker this time. The police officer checked all around the house, then came back to speak with us. He asked us to go to the front porch with him. We normally use the side porch to go in and out, so the wet footprints that we saw on the front porch, right in front of the door, just confirmed what we already knew, that somebody had been there. Most likely the creeper from before. Also, whoever it was had tried to get into what looks like a breaker box on the side of the house. I think it goes to the AC unit. A bunch of copper coils were pulled out. The police officers said that it was probably some meth head trying to steal the copper to pay for their drugs. After that, we got an alarm system, and my brother moved in with us. We also got some guns and learned how to shoot. We never did find out who it was, but be warned, Creeper. If we do meet again, just know that I'm not a bad shot.